Okay, you're with us here on Aspire. Now let's talk about one of my favorite topics, and that is indeed watches. When you look at a watch, the first thing you notice is the watch face, and which is the dial of the watch. Lots of experimentation happening. Uh, people are trying out different kinds of materials, and concepts really are flying. So we are zeroing on the best and the kind of watches you should be splurging on. A watch has many faces, each unique to its design and look. It's the face of the watch that first grabs your attention. The watch dial is what characterizes a watch's innermost nature, displaying its functions and giving the watch its unique identity. Well, dials are the most important part of a watch because that's where, you know, it's like a base on which, it's like a pizza base on which you put the toppings. So I think it's very, very critical to have a, a dial in place first. And that's where you put, you know, kind of your uh, arms of a watch and, you know, the basic movements are cased uh, either below or above a, a, a dial. From the layout of the mechanisms, wheels and complications that form the movement to the position of the hand and other indications that compose it. Even the materials and colors add to the individuality of the watch. And over the years, watchmakers have used all kinds of methods to achieve something different that sets it apart from the rest. Each watchmaker really uses the dial to, to really tell the world how good they are. So, you know, it starts with things like use, using different materials. Like you'll have mother of pearl. Mother of pearl is a very, very uh, common uh, use on dial that gives you beautiful effect then you get watches which uh, which have work of art like work of art which are uh, from marketry marketry is a very special craft which is done on wood and they're seasoned and they're, they're, they're very very few people and few brands which which have mastered the art of marketry then you have miniature painting Miniature painting again is extremely difficult and you have a lot of influence of India into this uh, into this area like you have Rajasthani uh, miniature art in uh, used by brands like Jajar Lakut in River Soap. You also have functionality like for example uh, Rado uh, uses a lot of uh, ceramic and high-end ceramic and high-end uh, diamond uh, which, which goes into uh, a lot of hardness in terms of the materials. So while getting your own masterpiece might be difficult, here are some watches with unique dials that you can pick up now. Romain Jerome is known for using unique materials in its concepts, like this one, the Romain Jerome Moon Dust, which actually uses moon dust in its dial to create a moon-like surface. Each watch comes with certification to attest the presence of moon dust and even the needles resemble the antenna of the Sputnik satellite. How cool is that? The watch is priced just under 8 lakhs. Corum Golden Bridge completely defies the regular concept of a dial as it doesn't have one. The curved rectangular case of the Golden Bridge watch with its four sapphire crystals serves as a miniature stage for the spectacular movement. Suspended in space, the manually wound mechanism of the Golden Bridge features a bridge made out of 18 karat gold which supports the entire structure of the movement, its mainspring, gear train and escapement. You can check out the movement from four different angles, from the two sides, the front and the back, which is probably unique to this watch. The Corum Golden Bridge is priced just below 30 lakhs. One of the most complicated forms of watchmaking involves the lack of a dial, like the Hublot King Power Skeleton. It's a see-through watch and the movement under the dial is fully exposed so that you can witness the mechanics of a watch. It's like watching poetry in motion. The watch is cased in 18 karat rose gold with a black rubber strap. It features an automatic movement with a chronograph. Like any other Hublot, this one is chunky. 
and makes an iconic statement. The Hublot King Power is priced around 22 and a half lakhs. Well, the Hublot Skeleton is a great watch, but uh, when it comes to carrying a bit of the moon on your wrist now, that is something that I really aspire for. With that, it's going to be a wrap of this edition of Aspire. Thanks indeed for joining us. We'll see you around next time. Bye-bye.